in today's digital world, safeguarding your online presence is by far the most important thing. And that's where VPNs come into play. They safeguard your privacy and let you browse the internet with absolute peace of mind. In this comprehensive video, we're going to be taking a look at three different VPN services that I've handpicked based on their services, their quality, their pricing, whether you are a content streamer who likes unrestricted access to geo-blocked locations, a security conscious user worried about safeguarding his or her data, or someone who simply wants blazing fast internet, we got you covered. Throughout this comparison, we're going to be exploring their vast server networks, highlighting the features that make each VPN stand out, their zero logs policy, and also the amount of importance they add to your data. Moreover, we're going to be diving into real world performance tests, putting each VPN through its space and seeing which VPN actually stands tall after our testing so you can make an informed decision that is not going to compromise your network quality. So if you're ready to enhance your online security, get access to blazing fast internet and be absolutely secure while you're browsing the internet, then this video is a must watch for you. So sit back, relax and enjoy the video. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe as well. And also if you like any VPN, be sure to check out the link in the description below. That is our referral link that is going to give you a discount, which will help you save a lot of money when you first sign up. Let's get started with the video. Best VPNs for Mac. Hi everybody. So we got two VPNs with us at the moment. We got Surfshark VPN, we got NordVPN, and then we also have ExpressVPN, which I'm going to explore once we're done with these two. But these two VPNs, in my opinion, are one of the best VPNs when it comes to using a VPN on your Mac. And there's a very good reason for that. The main reason being that these VPNs have the fastest speeds, the most secure servers, and no lag whatsoever. Now the comparison becomes how much money are you willing to spend? How many servers do you need? What type of ping are you looking for? And how many servers do you need in one location? So based on that, these VPNs differ by each other, but overall, they're mostly the same thing. So first of all, coming over to NordVPN, on the left side, you can see all of the locations of NordVPN. Now, there are not a lot of locations when it comes to NordVPN, as you can see that we barely have a few servers. But the main selling point of NordVPN is that they give you a double VPN service that is going to enable you to basically bounce your data from two different points, not just one, two different points. So essentially you have two VPNs and your data is impossible to decrypt. So you're going to be the most secure on NordVPN. They also give you the option for onion over VPN. If you're someone who uses Tor browser, then you can use the onion over VPN service and use Tor browser while having your VPN on. That is another great option. And of course, an extra layer of security. And then on the left side, they also give you a threat protection service as well, which is going to, of course, keep you guys safe from any threats whatsoever that might be faced from any location whatsoever. But using this service, it's going to keep you secure for sure. Then you got their mesh net service. This is going to basically form a private mesh net for your devices that is going to keep your home traffic in one net and that net is going to be protected by their services. So overall, it's a great VPN. Then we got Surfshark. Now, Surfshark is by far one of my most favorite VPNs. Why? Because look at these locations. They got so many locations and the most locations among Express and Nord and Surfshark, Surfshark has the most locations. Now, of course, the, the more the locations, there has to be some drawbacks. And the drawbacks are that Surfshark isn't exactly the fastest. They are very stable, but they're not the fastest. But they give you the option for static IP. So your IP stays the same every single time you hop in and hop out of the VPN. Then you also have the option for multi-hop, which is very similar to double VPN. Essentially, your data hops from one location to another. And then from there, you get access to the internet because typically it just bounces from one location. But with this, you get two locations and more data encryption. Then you got a dedicated IP option as well. So they basically got some of the best options. Then on the left side, you have your alert section. And then of course, they give you a free antivirus software as well. If you want to keep software running smoothly and you want to save yourself from any data attacks whatsoever inside your computer, they also give you that option as well. So Surfshark again is very, very good. Now Surfshark and Nord are by far the most affordable ones. Nord is the cheapest one, but Surfshark is also affordable. But the most expensive one is of course, Express VPN. Express VPN is the best VPN that I would recommend to anyone if they have a big budget because it is a bit expensive. So whatever the original price might be, you will still get a discount if you were to use our particular referral link. And that is what I think is absolutely amazing. And also they give you servers in 94 different countries, but Surfshark still gets the edge when it comes to the amount of servers. And they also have all of the best options as well. So all in all, I would highly, highly recommend ExpressVPN. And I would suggest that you guys get started with any one of these VPNs 
based on your decision. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to check out the link in the description below. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.